YTPC, this is your high power coming at you from the Buckeye State. Uh, sorry about the glare behind me. Uh, I got a hankering, a taste for some English. Got the pot pipe, custom made by Jason Montone. Specific for English blends, and you can probably tell by the time we are going to revisit a blend that I had several several months back, and I have to find it here the other here yesterday or so. John Con's number one, mild English. This tin has never been cracked until, well, today. This is a mild English, and it is a light Virginia Ford blend, seasoned with fragrant Orientals, just enough light of care for the favorable experience. We're going to first open this tent up today. Pop. I had this for a pump got all about having this. Of course, you see. Mm. So, this has been pretty much sitting in my thing back here, and I pump got a little bit behind it. Of course, it's sticking to the. Of course, you can see the Orientals, the Virginias, Latakia. I mean, it's. I'm digging. Look, I mean, it's just throw some up. You can definitely smother the lot of here. The Virginias, so forth and so on. It's good right out of the tin. So we are going to load a bowl. Oh, it. should be enough. Got a bowl loaded. Of course. First time crossing this tin. I had ten before of this. And we're going to revisit our own lighter. Great stuff. You could definitely taste the Virginia's divide a kill. Sorry about that little spice on the retro hell, which I like. Um, almost forgot what this stuff tastes like. And all the way up that way, it is a mild English, not the medium. The uh, John Con is number one and two. It's the medium English, this is the mild. Of 
door handles are there. Usually down about the second, third, the bowl really kicks up a little bit. On the Inglises. All day smoke. But I smoke this every day. You know. It's a good, good English, folks. Uh, it's something that if you're an English lover, you know, or you're starting out in English, this probably be the one here I would probably recommend to anybody that's transparenting over from maybe from aromatics or burleys or what. I love it. Smokes great. And yes, a pot pipe. Awesome blend, great blend. There's a Virginia base forward. You do get the grassy hay notes. Uh, you get the smokiness from the lot of kids. Uh, the Orientals, it's got that little kick to it. It's there. I truly recommend it. I love it. It's one of the best blends I ever came across for us English blends. There's been many, many of English blends I've smoked. And uh, I have smoked the Peter Stokey B. Stuttrick Luxury English. And to me, there's a little bit of a comparison there between Peter Stokey B's and John Cotton's. I like it. I mean, of course, I just took it right out of the tin, so I mean, once you get it pretty well going, pretty well lit, and not jibber jabbering, you can pretty well stay lit. There's some, you know, other blends are out there that I do enjoy. And, uh, the, between the, the English blends, the Virginia blends, the Burley blends all mixed in. There's another brand I like, it's called Arlene's Dream. And uh, that blender is one of the few aromatics besides the cherry and the others I like. But It uh, it reminds me of when I first smoked this for this tin, but if you guys set for five or six months or more, you get the butter flavors out of it. You smoke it nice and slow. If you just give us a shot, John Con's number one. 
and then you get the chance to get John Con's numbers one and two. This the medium, more of a medium body. This is more of a mild body. The body, but it's going almost to ten thirty mark. I'm gonna go up here so they can upload. But I thought I'd revisit this blend and uh, see what it's like. See if it tastes better than when I actually opened up the first 10. But this is the hot piper. Keep them lit, keep the embers burning, and y'all take care.